Alice Robinson is an international singer and one-time lead vocalist of the 90s Eurodance group Live and Joy. If you've been here this morning, we've been singing it rather a lot, but it has okay. been updated for 2022. Let's take a listen. I'm a dream. the first I've ever seen the, 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 the camera crew. guys They're all dancing. dancing. Good morning, Janice Robinson. How are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. I am doing great. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much for having me and speaking such amazing kind words about me. It feels amazing. Thank you. Well, it's so lovely to have you. We know it's 4 a.m. where you are in Naples, Florida. So thank you so much for getting up for us. But first, yeah, I, can... I pulled it, to, to, yeah, I pulled you it sure together did. for you. <laughs> yes, you sure did. did. Janice, can you tell us why the new version? You know, I have been in the classroom teaching 12 and 13 year olds for like the last eight years. Um, and my mom was a school teacher and you know, when shows, I would get shows, I wouldn't get shows. It was so up and down. And I have two beautiful daughters and I kind of wanted to do something as an offering to the new generation to, to give them an incentive like you can never give up. You must always believe in yourself and dreams can come true at any age. So dream big and keep the faith. That was the message. Well, and I, I, it's unbelievable to think that that song is so iconic. And then you just spoke about being a teacher. I mean, it must be amazing yeah. to talk to your students to say, I wrote that song and I'm going to re-release it and it's going to be another big hit. You know, my students this year, I've had a very unique group of students. Um, and I, I, I really, as I talk to them, I see myself, I see the 12 year old who sat, you know, in those uncomfortable desks and dreaming, daydreaming. I daydreamed a lot. I wasn't the biggest academic person. Mm. So me being in a classroom is very funny because if you looked at my school records, you'd be like, how did she become a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember that feeling. I remember that feeling of, uh, I just dreaming and daydreaming and, and, and being off. And I used to practice my signature. Nowadays, you don't, people don't want your signature, honey. They want a selfie. Yes. But I lived, I lived through that era of dreaming about how would I write my name and my name in lights. And I, I honestly really just manifested mm. my whole journey, love, life, and laughter. It's what I believe. And I wanted to give that to the new generation because Nowadays, you know, 25, you're too old. And that's, that narrative has to stop. People got to stop putting um, boxes on people, like boundaries, like, no, 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 no. You're just beginning. You're just beginning, man. You could be beginning at 50. Yeah. It's, it's your business. Could not agree more with that, Janice, because everything that was going on, like you wrote the lyrics to Dreamer, obviously Live and Joy, it was in a, yourself and uh, the Italians that you yeah. were with, the two lads. Yeah. And you wrote this on a train and it just flowed out of you. But then when you're at the height, and I mean that song in Europe, like it's hard to overstate yeah. how massive it was and is played all the time still. Um, but then it kind of, you couldn't capitalize on that. Your life took a turn and you became a carer for your parents. I, 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 yes, and that, that will be all shown in my documentary to show people why everyone was dancing in Ibiza and every Saturday night. And that, that's the strange thing. Dreamer had this amazing journey. Mm. I mean, and it's still like people still every Saturday night, I can feel it. I can feel people dancing somewhere around the world to my song. Um, but at the height of it, the at the height of the career, you know, both of my parents were diagnosed with illnesses and 
I kind of just stepped back and I looked at life with a different perspective. My, my parents needed me and I just said, I can't go on being Living Joy. I need to go home and be Janice Robinson. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm sharing my story. That's why I'm telling my testimony because sometimes the road of life takes different directions, but all roads always lead back to your heart and what's in your heart and what you have to offer the world. And so Dreamer is something I gave the world. And now I'm just kind of coming back around to say, hey, my name is Janice. And you know, you, you love this song I sang and I wrote. And here you go. <laughs> I, you're, I'm, like, it's an incredible story. And you mentioned that you are doing a documentary. Uh, well, something that struck me about it is that you spoke about people get to see what it was like in the music industry back in the 90s, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I mean, what, what was it yes. like back in the 90s? It was quite interesting. Say it again. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, honey, let me tell you about the 90s. Well, the good thing was some of the most incredible singers, vocalists, many of them are my friends. They, we, All of us, we created these um, iconic voices that live on forever. Robin S, Alternate, uh, Barbara Tucker, I mean, Sandy B. Um, Simone Denny. I mean, there's so many of us that, you know, Crystal Waters. Oh, yeah. No, it was... We, crea we created a sound, a movement. And, um, and, and, and to this day, even CeCe Pennison. I mean, it was just, I could go on and on and on. And I love all the women I, I mentioned. Um, but it was a special time. Mm. I don't think we all realized how special it was. Um, until now, 25 and 30 years later, it's like, oh my God, they still want to hear these songs. Okay. But during that time, there was a lot of exploitation. Like there was a lot of producers owned the names. Uh, you had, you know, uh, they had other people up in the video, you know, the black box and the CC Music Factory, different faces, but Martha Wash's voice, like it was just, it was crazy. They tried to black box me with Living Joy, quiet as it's kept. Oh, it's, really? It's, it's amazing. It's, oh, and yeah. I know you're doing Should a I documentary. Give the tea? You Should did. I give the tea now? Because we know that that <laughs> happened. Like we can even think about Millie Vanilli, you know, they didn't sing any of their songs. And you're going to be giving this in the documentary. You're going to be talking about your time on yes. X Factor and touring amazing. with the amazing Tina Turner as well. And of course, the brand new version yes. of Dreamer is out now. And it is, it sounds, it's always going to sound that good. Uh, Janice Robinson for getting up at 4 a.m. And you got to go teach in just a few hours. Thank you so much for yes. joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I can't wait. Love, Ireland.